Gonna be making some lentil flatbread, another uh, gout friendly recipe, especially if people are having attacks. Uh, you wanna stay away with the white flour. You want something to eat that can keep you full. Um, this is a good substitute for say flatbread and you can cook it relatively quickly. It just needs to soak for, I would say three hours. So you take one part red lentil. When you cook lentils, it's a three to one ratio. We're not cooking them, we're gonna be soaking them, blending them. So this is gonna be a two to one ratio. Two parts water. And then just let this sit two to three hours. The water was right from the tap, neither tepid nor cold. It doesn't really matter. Just gonna let that sit for about three hours and then we'll come back and blend it. All right, so we're three hours in. That's what you're looking for. We're gonna dump it in the blender, we're gonna blend it. We're gonna be, you could just have it like this, add a little bit of salt. I'm gonna be adding uh, one teaspoon uh, of garlic powder, one teaspoon chipotle, and one teaspoon cumin. I'm gonna mix it in when I blend it. All right, so just take it, dump it into the blender. All right, get the spices in. Lid on and we just blend it very well. You're looking for a consistency, almost similar to like a very smooth one, almost like you're making a pancake. I'm gonna blend it for about 20 seconds more. And then I'm gonna just stick this whole thing in the fridge and when I'm ready to make the uh, lentil flatbread, we're good to go. Perfect. You want a non-stick pan, slightly oiled. You definitely need the non-stick pan. This is not gonna work without it. They're just gonna stick. It's gonna be as crazy as when we first tried making corn tortillas. And these are as finicky as those two. I hope that you never have to make this out of necessity for a diet, but if you do, this is excellent for people suffering from gout. So one ladle. I'm gonna swirl that around, just like we do with a pancake. So very similar to making the tortillas, made from just simple ingredients. We have water, lentils, and salt, could just be as basic as that. And for those that are suffering from gout, you can definitely have this. It's, uh, these ingredients won't cause a flare up. Pair this with uh, hummus, uh, some vegetables, and then hopefully you get over your pain quickly. But these are great regardless. Just one thing, don't rush it. And it's like everything, that the, like the pancakes, the first one's always the one that really never works out. And then the subsequent ones are a little bit better, but don't rush it, wait till it's ready to flip. So I'm just keeping an eye on it, seeing the edges getting dried, knowing that underneath it's full. You just don't wanna rush it, otherwise it will crumble. Just slightly over medium heat on the dial, I have it on six. There you go, you want a nice little browning on the entire surface. If I had to like gauge, I would say two to three minutes each side. There's also like an endless array of seasoning that you can do. I'll put some, some ideas in the memo line. You could put Italian herbs, um, garlic, uh, it, it's endless. And right there, I gotta flip it over again because I flipped it over a little premature. I don't know if you can see there, but it's a little bit moist and we kind of want it to be a nice little crust. So that was a little bit premature, that flip. So on this side here, we'll flip it again over. That was a minute on that side. And as you can see, a minute's not sufficient. So let me turn it back. And then I'll turn it over in one more minute and let you see. There's another minute, let's flip it over. And again, we want that a little bit more crispy. So let's flip that over. And then one more minute should be sufficient. Again, it's all on your temperature, your stove too. I'm doing mine just slightly above medium. These freeze well. So if you don't finish your whole batch, you can put them in a Ziploc bag, squeeze out the air, freeze them, throw them in the toaster oven to, uh, to have them for breakfast or, or whenever you need it. Um, they, they also store in the, uh, the fridge. I'm sure if you make them, they're not gonna last that long anyways, they'll be chowed down. There's the other minute, so that's three minutes now. Probably should look good. 
got a bit of a, you can feel it. It's got a bit of a, that crust on, on the entire surface. So I'm just gonna cook the other side another minute, flip it over, and then just repeat this process. And there you have, you have some uh, lentil flatbread. All right, so that's a minute that it was on the other side. Let's flip it over, take a look. Perfect, it's got a crust on the entire surface. Yeah, there's the texture you're looking for. So we'll take that out and repeat the process. Scoop out one ladle. Swish your frying pan like we would with pancakes. And then just repeat for the whole batch. So if you think it's ready to flip, just take your flipper and kind of test it like you would a pancake. You're gonna know if it's ready to flip or not. This right now is not, it's still a little bit moist. I can feel it there. So just let that cook. Don't rush it.